So everyone knows that video cards have become like a rare species of bird. Really hard to find, and when you do find them, they're usually pretty expensive. But NVIDIA has just released some news that may change the game all the way around. Now, this is kind of some interesting stuff, so let's just jump right in today and let's talk tech. Are you building a new computer or just upgrading an old one? If so, then chances are you need a new Windows 10 key. And CD key sales, they've got you covered. Buying has never been easier. And prices for Windows keys are under $20 and there's even additional discounts. All you need to do is go search for the software that you're looking for, add that software to your cart, create an account, and when you go to checkout, enter the code TT18 to get an additional 20% off. Now, let's frag some. All codes are guaranteed, and you'll be up and gaming in no time. Okay, so everybody knows that NVIDIA did a bunch of weird stuff a few years ago with the NVIDIA Partner Program, where like basically, you know, any other company you wanted to put gaming, you know, on their title, NVIDIA was saying, hey, no, you can't build, you know, systems with AMD cards because they're different than ours. And that kind of blew up in their face and they changed all that. And then recently they were trying to like get to sell all their laptops without actually telling you what specs the video cards actually were. So, you know, you buy a laptop and you didn't know whether you were getting a really strong 3080 or really weak 3070 or anything else. And so um, ASUS was actually the very first people, they published everything about the laptops, the specs, the speeds, everything else. So NVIDIA has once again, you know, retracted, you know, trying to do this weird stuff and have moved on. Now that's the negative, but the positive side though, um, I think there's a positive side anyway, is that Nvidia has just announced that they are going to be releasing a lot more video cards to make up for the shortage. Now, so far, they've only really talked about a few cards, the GTX 1050 Ti and the RTX 2060. But Apparently they're going to have a lot of these cards to put on the market and these are, you know, these are more the budget affordable cards. So this should be good news to a lot of people across the board. I mean, let's just face it. I mean, a lot of people aren't going to go out and buy a 3090. There are some people that are going to do that, but not everybody is going to go out and, and bust their money out and spend that much money because let's just face it, some of those video cards are costing enough money where you could buy multiple consoles. And so, you know, um, and I, apparently after my made my video yesterday, apparently consoles are starting to get rare and rare and people are starting to scalp and, and do weird stuff with those too. So, you know, one guy made a joking comment. He was like, well, let's just hope to God they don't figure out how to mine or do anything else on a console. But I think they probably really could if they wanted to. It's probably just not really worth their time. Otherwise they probably would be doing that already. But with Nvidia releasing older cards, at least people should be able to now buy, you know, cards for their systems. And the biggest market everybody knows is going to be the entry level market, things that are in, you know, within the $200, $300 price range, pushing it to the max. 300 is even pushing it a little bit, but I think that most people, if they had it their way, would be able to get a card for about the $200 range, especially entry level. Now, hopefully, hopefully here, I'll keep my double fingers crossed and you guys do the same. We'll just all double cross our fingers here. Hopefully Nvidia doesn't charge a lot of money for these cards. Hopefully you'll be able to buy these cards at MSRP. Hopefully they'll control the stock better. Hopefully they'll sell it to miners do any of the weird stuff. We all know that a bunch of companies in the past have been caught with their pants down doing scalping like MSI, which to be honest is a brand I've never really liked. If you notice, I've done the least amount of MSI reviews of anything else. I'm not saying that they don't make some good products. Some of their products are good, but, but over the years, 
I've had more problems dealing with MSI stuff than anything else. So we just really just kind of just stopped reviewing their stuff altogether. In fact, hardware wise, I've changed quite a bit. I don't have the manpower, the people to do what I used to do, even though I'm really trying to solely work my way back into that. In fact, I personally just got all my video cards back from a friend of mine in California who was doing some testing and stuff from me. So now I have access to that stuff. But if you're somebody out there, you've wanted an NVIDIA card for a while, but you're like, oh man, I can't get any, they're too expensive. You know, all the, you know, all the negative factors that fall into that category. Well, now's your chance. You should be able to buy a video card. Now, these cards should come out probably within the next 30 days. Um, the exact numbers um, of how many they're going to release, and this is probably at this time very speculative, but I'm sure, you know, since they've made this announcement, they're going to release, they're going to release, excuse me, they're going to release, they're going to release a lot of, of these cards to the market. And I personally think that's a good thing because like I've said, you know, a couple times in this video, um, the entry level, more affordable cards are the ones that sell the absolute most. The absolute high end cards do sell, but they're not the most selling. I mean, if Nvidia came out and said, okay, gee, we're going to release just a shite ton of, you know, RTX 3090s, how many people do you think are going to have that $1,500 or $1,600 to buy that card? Sure, there will be people that can afford that, but for the most part, a lot of people are gonna be like, holy crap, I can't afford that card, what the heck is going on? But when they release cards that are in the more affordable range, people will be like, hey, okay, I can actually buy a video card. So I think it's good news all the way around. Um, why NVIDIA does silly stuff like the partner program or like doing things with laptops and stuff, I'm not really ever sure why they ever do stuff like that. It usually always ends up like giving them a black eye and making them look bad. And we, you know, we all know after all the bad stuff that's happened with Intel and other companies that these days when any company does even the slightest bit of something that's a little bit shifty, shifty, that's one of my words, shifty, shifty, shifty or shifty, all of the people in the world pretty much gather on board and they're like, hey, screw you, this is wrong. And that's happened multiple times. Now, so far I see, just in my recent history, there's two of these, you know, hopefully there's not a third. That's just, that's all I'm saying. So NVIDIA, if you're watching the video, come on, just do the right thing. You guys are a giant company. There's really no reason for you guys who are at the top to be doing anything really weird. Your biggest problem in my, in my eyes, NVIDIA, is that you're just not making enough cards. Now, maybe that's a problem with the fabs or something like that, but still, you should have video cards available for people to buy. The market, in my opinion, should never get to the point where you have to pay scalping prices or you know be fighting with miners and all this other stuff over getting your video card. And truthfully for me, this is all, um, I don't know, not new world, I don't know if that's exactly the term I'm looking for, but these are all like new things that are happening. I've been in the industry since day one and the stuff that's happened recently never happened before. Back in the days when I was buying 3D effects cards, voodoo cards, and all these new cards, you go to, to any of the stores, fries or whatever, there will always be stock in the store. Then they might run out of stock eventually, but you could get your hands on a video card. Only recently in the last few years has it gotten to the point where every time you go try to buy a video card, they're out of stock. Out of stock, 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 out of stock forever out of stock. You know, it's a pain in the butt. And like I've said before, certain people who really, you know, try and try and try and they stay on the internet and keep clicking and doing stuff, those people, there were a few that were actually, you know, able to buy video cards on launch date and do it. But for the casual buyer, the casual person who just buys it and does it, they pretty much got, they got cut off at the seams because there wasn't any availability in general. Yes, little bits, but not a lot. So hopefully with this new announcement from NVIDIA that they're going to be releasing older video cards and they should be coming to the market in a lot of good quantity, let's just all hope that we see, you know, nice entry level video cards at an affordable price that are in stock and not being scalped or the MSRP being inflated beyond the norm. That's what we're all looking for, right? That's what I'm looking for. So I'm sure it's what you're looking for as well. So let's just all pay attention to the market here in the next few weeks. Let's see if the cards hit the market, if they're in stock, and if everything that NVIDIA has said will actually happen. Because, you know, sometimes, you know, things are said, but they don't happen. It's just reality and, and how it is. But hopefully with this, 
NVIDIA will actually keep to their word, bring these cards to the market, save people money, and make a lot of gamers happy campers out there. Um, and by the way, a couple people in the last video asked me what Marshall I have back behind me. Oh, my little baby back here. It is the JCM2000. Um, I don't know what happened to my 900 in the move. Um, honestly, a lot of my stuff when I moved here got ripped off badly. It's a whole other subject. I lost so much stuff. If, if, if it was you guys, you guys would probably be in the corner going, ah! And trust me, I was that I was that way too. The insurance that I got was a, was a whole shoddy mess. Couldn't even make the claims on the stuff that I paid for. It, just, it was a nightmare with, with my move. But, you know, things are kind of back on track now. I know you guys don't always like just the talking head videos either. I'm trying to set up other areas to film. Um, I'm having a problem with audio right now because I only have one audio solution and not a lot of cash. So I'm working to get a new audio solution. So. I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. Thank you very much. If you like my style, I'd love to see you subscribed here. But if you get subscribed, make sure you turn on that little bell up there that says notifications so you know I'm making videos. If you want to support the channel and you have no money, try Amazon Prime for free. I have a link down below. This helps me and it helps you. You can get free shipping, watch all their cool shows, and then at the end of 30 days, just get rid of it if you don't want it. It's all good. Plus, if you have a single dollar, you can support me on Patreon and help see my pretty face here on YouTube. So, peace out. We'll see you guys back here for more tech on Tech of Tomorrow.